this particular session, we will talk about the strategic role of the change and in this uh, content will be the elements of the successful change, horizontal coordination model, the dual course approach, cultural change, organization development, culture change interventions, the change curve, uh, various to change, uh, research paper, uh, book recommendations and the references as usual. Now, when we are talking about the strategic role of change, in so it, it is becoming very important that nowadays uh, we find that is uh, because of the external environmental factors, uh, there are the lot of changes are there and organizations are facing these particular changes uh, and uh, including uh, the social, political, technological changes. And not only this, they have to also see that is the what their competitors are doing. So, they to meet the competition, they are required to develop that continuous innovations and if they develop that particular continuous innovations, then definitely the, the changes are to be made and not only to prosper or getting the profit, but merely to survive also. So, any organization if wants to get the sustainability, then in that sustainability it is very important uh, that is the they are developing their products, uh, uh, either they are improving their products, making changes in their products, other products are itself they are changing. So, this is the dis a world of the disruptive change and the increasingly stiff competition is there. Uh, those organizations uh, uh, like we when we talk about the Sony, uh, then in here we find that is the, they themselves have made this particular strategy that is uh, come out with the new and new products and replacing their own products from the shelf is there. To recognize and manage the threats and take advantage of these opportunities, today's companies are undergoing the dramatic changes in all areas of their operations are concerned. Now, whenever we are talking about the uh, making the changes because to meet the competition, then it, it becomes very important that what resources do you have. And when you are having the main machine, material, money, methods, minutes, all six M's, then you have to understand in the operations uh, uh, how you can make the changes. For example, the first and foremost is that now industry 4.0, when we are talking about these changes, then we are talking about uh, this particular aspect of the, uh, the operations through the methods changing in the methods of the manufacturing is there, changing in the methods of services are there. Simple example is uh, with the help of the technology and therefore, uh, you be, they are becoming the sustainable uh, and making the total changes and these total changes are coming through the changing uh, of their machineries, changing of their uh, uh, the equipments and therefore, uh, in that case you will find that is the uh, companies are undergoing the dramatic changes change rather than stability. If the norm today, whereas the change once occurred uh, incrementally and, and infrequently. So, uh, here it becomes very important that is the changes once occurred, they have to make uh, these changes uh, and today it dramatic and the constant change is there that is uh, incrementally and the infrequently they have to make changes. A key element of the success of companies uh, such as the FedEx, Southwest Airlines, Apple, Toyota has been their passion for the creating change. So, therefore, as uh, Apple uh, such as the FedEx, Southwest, uh, all these companies uh, they are making these particular changes and as a result of which uh, they are becoming the leading organizations are there. Now here, when we are talking about the forces uh, driving the need for the major organizational uh, changes, so global changes, uh, competition and the markets are there. So technological change, uh, international economic integration is there, then the maturation of the markets in the developed countries and the fall of the com communication and the socialist reasons are there. So, um, when uh, uh, I was mentioning about uh, these resources, the first and foremost uh, which is affecting nowadays for the, your business and that is the technological changes are there. And when you are making these technological changes, uh, uh, then definitely you have to make the investment and you have to see that is you are sustainable. And when you see you are the uh, monetary that is the economic condition that is becomes the another threat. So, this uh, to make uh, one side to be sustainable, you require to do changes and other side you are having the constant of the finance or the uh, your economic condition. 
So, this uh, will be making these uh, uh, organizations uh, into a difficult uh, propositions uh, and therefore, they are need, they are supposed to um, make the changes. Maturation of markets in developed uh, countries are there and uh, as we see that is the, the life cycle the life cycle of your products that is becoming very, very limited and therefore, in that case uh, you have to be making the maturation uh, of this market uh, and this, this uh, market in the global level uh, if you want to capture then again you have to make the certain uh, changes and improvements in your products uh, and your company's policies. Fall of the communist and the socialist regimes are there and therefore, in that case the another political issues are there. The what type of these uh, uh, the uh, uh, yeah, philosophies or regimes are there. In this uh, philosophy or in these regimes when we talk about uh, uh, that is the uh, here the communist and socialist regimes uh, and they are uh, uh, becoming the less influential then definitely in that case uh, that will also a, a, a commercial aspect, uh, a, a social aspect uh, and, and, and the economic aspect uh, that will be making uh, the influencing this particular factor. Here we will find the more threats are there, the more uh, uh, domestic competitions are there and, and uh, now one side you, you have to face uh, uh, the global competition and other side you have to face the uh, this domestic competition. So, more domestic competition which is another threat is there and uh, now um, like in India when we are talking about the MSMEs, macro, small, medium enterprises. So, those enterprises are becoming the emerging and, and growing fast. So, that is also becoming a very great threat. The another is the in increase the speed of the market is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, you have to increase your speed of the growth and uh, making the changes otherwise uh, you will not be sustainable. And third one is the international competition is there. So, one side is the domestic competition, other side is the international competition. However, there are the opportunities also because whenever there are the threats, there are the opportunities, whenever there are the strengths, there are the weaknesses. So, the, the bigger markets are there. So, here you will find like the India, India itself is claiming as a bigger market and the fewer barriers are there. So, within domestic you will find there are the few barriers are there and now when we talk about the LPG, liberalization, privatization, globalization, so it becomes very much open. More uh, international markets are there and uh, now the globally also uh, whether it is the Europe or it is Asia, you are having the enough opportunities to develop your market and uh, therefore, in that case in spite of these uh, threats are there and uh, the organization can think of the opportunities and make the changes to grab these particular opportunities. Now, more large scale changes in the organizations are requiring the structure change. So, organization structure is to be changed as uh, I am always advocating about the uh, horizontal structure or the flat structure is there. So, when you have to meet these challenges, you have to make the changes. If you are making the changes, your main power, main power will be either increase or it will decrease and if it is decreasing, then you have to make the more empowerment and then you have to remove the and the competition is uh, tough and the uh, financial conditions are not good, then you have to remove certain uh, employees. So, these structural changes will be their organization structure you have to design according to the competition of the market. Uh, strategic changes are there, what is your strategies are there, the cultural change and uh, because you are working on the globally and uh, domestic market both. So, therefore, you have to face a different culture and therefore, you, you have to adjust yourself with the cultural change. Knowledge management enterprise resource planning is there and uh, here you will find that is the it is becoming the more and more uh, um, the um, resource planning and the quality programs are there where we can find out that is the what are the different uh, quality programs uh, which we can organize. Here the for these purposes uh, normally what are the solutions? So, solutions are the mergers, joint ventures and the consortia is there and I have also talked about the co-optation, the cooperation with your competitor. So, therefore, here you will find that is that mergers and acquisition is there. 
horizontal organizing teams and networks are also developing and uh, in the changing of the organization structure, the horizontal teams are working. New technologies and products are introduced and the new business processes are restarting and therefore, we have to focus, focus on the methods or processes which is the very rich resource if you can make a, 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 a very important changes in, into your manufacturing process, then definitely you can save the a lot of cost and the e-business is becoming very popular and uh, we find that is the role of technology and this is becoming the very important and the learning organizations are there and organizations because of this uh, totally changing environment, uh, they are learning themselves that is how to overcome these particular uh, challenges. Now, uh, the strategic types of the change uh, because we have talked about here the strategic changes are there uh, and the strategic type of change uh, mergers can focus on four types of change within organizations to achieve the strategic advantage. One is the technology change. These are the changes in an organization's production process, including its knowledge and skill base is there. Now, now you see uh, when you are in, uh, changing the technology, you are changing the knowledge and skill base. When you are changing the knowledge and skill base, it is affecting your manpower. So, your manpower should be flexible enough to develop themselves in the given environment and that enable distinctive competence and if they include the work methods, equipments and workflow and these changes are designed to make the production more efficient or to produce the greater volume. If product and service change is there, these changes pertain to the product or service outputs of an organization. New product includes the small adaptations of existing products uh, of the entirely new, pro new product lines are there. So, new products and services are normally designed to increase the market share and to develop the new markets, the customers or the clients are there. Example is given the Apple's iPod was a new product uh, that created a new market for the company. An example of a new service designed to reach in new markets and the customer comes from India's uh, uh, Tata Consultancy Services. Now, when we talk about the strategy and the structure change, the, these changes pertain to the administrative domain. Uh, in, so, the administration domain involves the supervision and management of the organization. These changes include in the organization structure. So, as I mentioned, you can remove certain layers and the strategic management policies, uh, reward systems uh, and the labor relations are there and the coordination devices uh, amongst the employees, management information in the control systems and uh, accounting and the budgeting system is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, you will find that is uh, these are the changes uh, the even these international accounting system that is also becoming the another example for making the changes are there. Now, this uh, uh, many, uh, many MIS and control systems that is also totally changing. Now, when we talk about this SCADA, so totally control management system through the IT is changing. So, um, uh, the, these changes uh, which, which will develop a new culture. So, cultural change becomes the very, very important aspect. Culture change refers to the changes in the values because earlier it was a manual based, man based system and now you are talking about the technology based system. So, therefore, your values systems that is going to be very strong and those values will lead to your success. Many organizations when they in their culture, organization culture, if the values are not there, right, then in that case they are, they are not sustainable for long time. The attitude of the organizations and therefore, positive attitude. If there is not a positive attitude, then they will not never look for the any particular change and a successful change. Uh, these expectations, beliefs, abilities and the behavior of employees that will create a particular culture. So, uh, overall organizations, uh, the belief system, what is a belief system? For example, teamwork. So, teamwork is an example where the employees, they are working together and, and there is a coordination. So, therefore, that is a belief. Second belief is my employees are competent, the abilities of my employees and uh, anybody can say yes, they are competent and uh, then organizations when they develop their competency, they are sure that is uh, this culture change, they will be easily adoptable and the behavior of employees because this uh, environment is changing, surrounding environment is changing, the relationship is changing, the bosses are changing. So, therefore, in that case, uh, uh, there will be the also a behavior, behavioral aspect and then the, those organizations which are having these positive behavioral aspects, the, those organizations will grow after the change. Culture change pertain to changes in the how employees think 
and these are the changes in mind set rather than the technology structure or the product is there. So, there it, it is becoming very important that is the what we have to change. So, employees think uh, that is uh, here are the changes in the mindset is there right. So, the, rather than the uh, te technological structure or products are there. The employees should ready the, in the cultural that is the employees are flexible. If they are flexible then they will be sustainable and they will grow and the organization will also grow. So, therefore, if the mindset is rigid they, they are not flexible, they are not getting cope up with the environmental changes then they, it will be very tough for them for the making this uh, uh, continuing uh, these uh, uh, old uh, policies of old uh, practices for long time. So, therefore, to uh, adopt the change uh, their value systems are very very important. Now, when we are talking about this structure and the strategy change with the cultural change, then in that case uh, the who will make these changes? The leader will make these changes. So, therefore, this leadership vision that becomes very, very important. For example, uh, the leader's vision for the technology, uh, what is the current technology is there in the organization, what generation of the technology I should purchase and buy and provide, are the products and services, what should be the products, how, how to provide the services, strategy and structure is there and the culture is there. So, therefore, the market, the international environment will be there and on basis of this international environment, the changes will be made. For a change to be successful implementation, managers must take sure each of the following elements occur in the organization. If the statement is making the changes process, so then in that case if any part is missing then the whole process will fail. So, first and foremost is and that is the idea. The what ideas do you have? No company can remain competitive without the new ideas. So, uh, naturally the change will be leading to a particular product or services and that product or services is an idea. So, change is the outward expression of those uh, uh, ideas and an idea is a new way of doing things. It may be a new product or service, a new management concept or a new product procedure for the working together in the organization. Ideas can come from within or from the outside of the organization is there. So, idea has to be there. The need, ideas are generally not seriously considered unless there is a perceived need for change and a perceived need for change occurs when the managers uh, uh, see a gap between the actual performance and the desired performance in the organization. For example, managers uh, at the Walt Disney Company are trying to create those conditions uh, to keep Disney theme parks relevant to a new generation of digitally savvy visitors are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, this is becoming a need that is the uh, whether the uh, there is a actual performance and is there is a need also is a performance in the organization. And for the here example is given there is a Walt Disney company and those conditions to keep Disney theme parks relevant to a new generation of digitally savvy visitors. Adoption occurs when decision makers choose to go ahead with a proposed idea. Key managers and employees need to be in the agreement to support the change. Uh, for a major organizational change, the, the decision might require the signing uh, uh, of a legal document by the um, board of directors and uh, for a small change, uh, adoption might occur with the informal approval by a middle manager. So, when we are talking about the implementation part of this, implementation occurs when the organization members actually use a new idea and the technique or behavior. So, materials and equipments may have to be acquired and workers may have to be trained to use the new idea implementation is a very important step uh, because without it, pro, uh, it previous steps are to having the uh, uh, no avail. Next element which is very important for this uh, success uh, of the change and that is about the resources. The human energy and activities are required uh, to bring about the change. Change does not happen on its own. It requires time and resources to both creating and the implementing a new idea. Employees have to provide uh, the energy to see the both the need and the idea or the uh, are to meet that uh, need. Someone must develop a proposal and provide the time and the effort uh, to implement it. So, most uh, in innovation uh, uh, which is the go beyond the ordinary budget allocation and the require the special funding. Uh, some companies use the task forces to focus resources on a change. 
other set up and uh, uh, seed funds are venture funds uh, that employees with promising ideas can uh, tap into. So, what uh, elements of successful change? So, in this model we will see that is the suppliers are there right? and the customer competition, legislation, regulation, labor force, these are the factors are there. Now, when in the environment, when these uh, suppliers, professional associates, consulates and the research literatures are there. These internal creativity and, and the inventions, which is the idea one and the, there is a need also. So, perceived problems are the opportunities are there. Now, with the changes in the environmental factors, you are creating a perceived idea that is the, this will be required. So, suppose you are planning for next two years, then what will be the perceived problem will be there in next two years and what will be the opportunities are there. So, these needs once you clearly identify, then you develop an idea so that the you know, your creativity and inventions um, that will work. Here that will give you a decision to adopt and what is the decision to adopt is that is about the whether what changes I have to make. As we have seen the changes areas are there either people, process or technology. And when you are making this implementation and on basis of this you are using the, your resources and by using your resources you are becoming the important for this particular change. Horizontal coordination model is there designed for the achieving the new product innovation involves three components, departmental specialization, boundary spanning and the horizontal conditions. So, when we are talking about the specialization, the, the key departments in new product developments are the R&D, marketing and the production. The, the specialization component means that the personnel in all three of these departments are highly co competent at their own tasks. The, the, these are the departments are differentiated from the each other and have skills, goals and attitudes uh, appropriate for their spe uh, specialized functions. Now, this component means each department involved with the new products uh, has excellent linkages with the relevant sectors uh, in the external environment uh, of R&D personnel is linked to professional associations and to colleagues in other R&D departments. Marketing personnel are closely linked to the customer needs. They listen to what customers have to say and uh, they analyze the competitor products and suggestions for the distributors. The horizontal coordination components the technical marketing and the production people share ideas and information. Research people inform marketing of the new technical developments to learn whether the developments are applicable to customers. Marketing people provide the customer component and complaints and information to R&D to use in the design of the new products is there. People from both R&D and the marketing coordinate with the production because the new products have to be within the production capabilities. So, the cost are the, the, there has been the not exuberant and the decision to launch uh, uh, the new product is ultimately a, a joint decision among all these departments are there. This horizontal coordination model is having the environment, organization and the outcome as an environment is there to meet the environmental. So, here is a technical development, then the general managers, R&D department, marketing department, production departments they coordinate and they finally they meet to the customer needs. Now, these all organizations need to make changes in their strategies, structures, manager processes and the administrative procedures from time to time. Many organizations are cutting out the, the layers of management and the decentralizing decision making. There is a strong uh, uh, shift towards the more horizontal uh, structures with uh, the terms of the frontline workers empower to make the decisions and they solve problems on their own. Um, this step of the changes are the responsibility of the organization top managers and the overall process of the change is typically different from the process for innovation in technology and new products are there. The dual core approach to organizational change compares management and technical changes. Organizations such as the schools, hospitals, city, government, welfare agencies, government bureaucracies and many business firms uh, can be conceptualized as having two cores. A technical core and a management core. Each core uh, has its own employees, task and environmental domain. Innovation can uh, uh, originate in either core. So, the management core is about about the technical core in the hierarchy. The responsibility of the management core includes the structure, uh, the control and coordination of the organization itself and concerns the environmental sectors of government, financial resources, 
economic conditions, human resources and the competitors are there. The technical core is concerned with the transformation of the raw materials into the organizational products and services and involves the environmental sectors of the customers and technology. The point of the core approach is that, that many organizational, especially the uh, non-profit and government organizations must adopt frequent management changes. Therefore, such organizations need to be structured differently from organizations that rely on the frequent technical and product changes for the competitive advantage. So, direction of change is the example of change, uh, there is the management core is there and there is a technical core. And the top down strategy in uh, downsizing the structure is there uh, and the bottom up production technologies are there. So, this will be the workflow, product ideas and organic is there. The cultural organization is made up of people and their relationship with one another. Changes in strategies, structure, technologies and products do not happen on their own and changes in any of these areas involve changes in the people as well. Sometimes achieving a new way of thinking requires a focused change in the understanding the corporate culture values and norms. Changing corporate culture uh, fundamentally uh, shifts uh, how work is done in an organization and can lead to the renewed uh, commitment of the empowerment of employees as well as, as a stronger bond between the company and its customers. A number of recent trends have been contributed uh, to a need for cultural makeovers uh, at the many companies. For example, uh, the re-engineering and the shift to the historical forms of the organization require greater focus on employee empowerment collaboration, information sharing and meeting the customer needs, which means the managers and employees need to need mindset. Another force for the cultural change is the diversity of today's workforce. So, diversity is a fact of the life for the today's organizations and many are implementing to recruiting, mentoring and promoting methods and diversity training program. However, if the underlying culture of an organization does not change, all other efforts to support the diversity will fall. So, organization development culture change interventions are there. So, what are the different interventions? Managers use a variety of approaches and techniques for the changing the corporate culture. One method of the quickly uh, bringing about the culture change is known as the organization development uh, which already focuses on the human and the social aspects of the organization as a way to improve the organization ability to adopt and solve problems. So, all these interventions which is involving the specific group of the everyone in the organization for OD interventions that can be successful, senior management in the organization must see the need for the OD and the provide the enthusiastic support for the change. Techniques used by the many organizations for the improving the people skill through the OD includes the large group interventions and large group intervention approach sometimes refer to as the whole system in the room. So, brings together the participants from all parts of the organization when including the key stakeholders from outside the organization and uh, as well as in the offsite uh, setting to discuss the problems or opportunities and plan for change. Next one is that is about the team building and team building promotes the ideas that people who work together can work as a team, a work team can be brought uh, together to discuss the conflicts, goals, the decision making process, communication, creativity and leadership. The team can then plan to overcome problems and the improve the results are there. So, these team building activities are also used in the many companies uh, to train the task forces, committees and the new product development groups. Uh, these activities enhance the communication and collaboration among the and strengthen the cohesiveness of the organization within the group and team. Then interdepartmental activities are there. And these particular interventions representatives from the different departments uh, are they brought together in a mutual location to expose problems or conflicts and diagnose to the causes and the, and the plan improvements in communication and collaborations. This type of intervention has been applied to union management conflict, uh, headquarter field, office conflict, interdepartmental conflict and the mergers. The meetings help people understand the problems uh, uh, faced in the other departments and see how everyone dependent on each other to do the, their job successfully is there. So, this is a change curve which is talking about the peak of the expectations are there and then there is a realization of the difficulty and the complexity of the change as I mentioned earlier people process uh, and the technology and then again then you make the efforts to make the changes and the light at the end of the tunnel is there. So, you achieve your goal, but there are certain barriers also. So, excessive focus on the cost, 
failure to pursue benefits, uh, you are not able to achieve your goals there because of the lack of coordination and cooperation or there are certain uncertain uh, avoidance which you can which are not under your control and the fear of loss is there. Now, this is a research paper which talks about the ERP innovation implementation model incorporating change management. You can go through this paper and you can find out that is the how you can make these uh, changes and like the ERP which is becoming a very important tool uh, you know, how to make this particular changes. And this is the book that is exploring the strategic change uh, and uh, exploring the corporate strategies uh, publisher is the financial times Prentice Hall and here you will find that is the you will come to know that is the how you can explore the strategic change uh, written by the uh, Julia Bellogan and Vernon Hope uh, Mill is there. Uh, these are the references you can refer further for the uh, detailing of uh, this particular topic and uh, you can gain the more knowledge uh, about it is how to make the changes and how to make the changes into the organization structures uh, with the changes into the uh, people process and technology. Thank you.